Welcome back everybody to No Creek Farms here on Farming Simulator 17. Woohoo! Your host with not the most. Folks, we're uh, continuing pretty much where we left off the last episode. We got five and six uh, thrashed and I'm sure whoa, whoa show you how much we got off of that field here in just a second straighten up right here we're going to park bob truck here let's see there's our uh oh we got 17,608 liters off of that field those two fields so that's not bad not bad at all all right we gotta go catch our combine before it turns Actually, uh, yeah, I don't know what it is fixing to do, but caught it just in time. We're going on over here and jumping field seven. Yeah, field seven. And we're going to continue on around. I wish the motor wouldn't shut off that quick. But we got a lot to harvest with this little bitty combine, folks. But as you can see, we're down to 660 no, I will say $650. Time I get through saying it. Um, we're probably going to sell all, most of these beans direct. I wish we'd get a great demand for it. Um, I do have field, uh, field six fertilized and, uh, starting in field five. So I'm going to go ahead and follow me and I'm going to get into that combine. Um, uh, Colin Jr. was driving it. But stop it for the time being and that's where I was talking about putting that cover that folks it would be so helpful if we had it there I'm gonna make this curve here and then I'm gonna hire, hire them back and uh, They're, they're uh, yielding pretty good, folks. Uh, oh, we got Jesse in the combine and call it Julian Tractor. Okay. My bad. Well, we got a, a uh, trench up here we have to worry about. But I don't know if we'll make it that far before we fill up. We're, we're doing. Of course, it's a small grain tank, but it's still doing pretty good, though. And how I'm going to harvest this field is I'm going to get all the way down to the very end down there. Make uh, two or three headland passes. And I'm just going to work this field straight up and down, work our way back that way. Yeah, back that way. We need to clear some of these trees out on this, but some trees are on the neighbor's side too, so, but that wouldn't be too bad, though. Clear some of them out. Most of them are on our side. If we can har harvest those trees. Some of them we can't cut, some we can, depending on where they're at. And I think when I get right up here, I'm going to go ahead and unload what we're out in the open too. If I do this that's right, the AI worker will go around after I make like the first pass, so it'd be too bad. 
Uh, I don't really got nothing else to do. Uh, if I had more tractors, I, I, I guess I could put the AR on the mower and have him mow that one grass field. Let's see if he goes around or goes through. Oh, he's going to go through. He's going to go through. We probably could go around right here. Let's try to go around. Watch me get the combine stuck. Let me zoom in a little bit. So y'all see it a little bit better. Oh, 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 oh. I'm glad I'm not loaded too much. Alright. Now our next pass. Uh, who was behind me? Colin Julian? Let's see if he makes it through there all right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That was a girl. <laughs> Okay, so I don't have it all fixed. I thought I had uh, hired workers with they all, you know, female names to female workers and male names to male workers, but it don't look like it went that way. I love the new texture of these soybeans. They look very realistic. All right, uh, got 17,000 in that. I'm up here at the farm shop now. I moved this auger out of the way. But you can move it with the motor or you can hook it to a vehicle. But uh, don't do like I did when you, uh, I show you. When you move it with a vehicle, you need that right there. You need those up when you move it with a vehicle. And this in here, it don't have no motor, but I did put the hopper out. So they look more realistic. Got it set up for soybeans. Um, I did go in and redo the triggers on these grain tanks where uh, it'd be more flexible. Um, let me see the AR here. Um, Start it up, detach. Now I got thinking, if I mow, I can mow and bale with one mower. It'll just take longer. Oh, let's go ahead and park it right here for right now. The reason I don't want to, oh lord, you could get full quick. Alright, um. Goodness, I, I wish I caught it before it got full. See, I think I can back up right here. Yeah, I might even get by right there. Hold your horses, mister. I'll take over. I'll take over Colin from right here. Don't want no crops. I got to really... Let's see. I'm going to check make sure I can dump. Okay, yeah, I can dump. Make sure I don't want none to go on the ground. Will that stay dumping when I hop out? Alright, good. Oh, I can get back in the tractor. I'm going to do something here. What the? I had it set to four. Okay. The combine is on five. That's what I needed to know. Yeah, we're going to do this in across here get a good turnaround room and uh, oh sit down with the engine off 8,600 liters this is on uh, oh no we started way over there so probably about 6,000 liters or three that's it. I'm going to let him sit right here for a little bit. Alright, I need to 
drive out a little bit before I put my pipe back in. I'm gonna start my combine back up. Yeah, I'm just gonna go down through here right now. Get a straight shot. This should be enough room to turn around, hopefully. If not, it'd be alright. But folks, um, what do y'all think about Farming Seminar 19? Have y'all checked it out? Any trailers or anything? Uh, I haven't checked in about a week on the website, so I don't know if they got a new trailer or not. But I, I'm so hyped for it. I cannot wait until it gets here. Where's my header up? There we go. I know it shows the uh, the dog. I wonder if it, if it's more like uh, how farm works. Uh, or is it rocket? I, th I believe the dog rides with you on a tractor. Wouldn't that be awesome? And then look down and uh, your pets down there riding with you. That would be pretty awesome. Let me get this box off of here. I don't like that box. Alright, I'm, I'm glad that, uh, another thing like this tree line here, if you have a bad storm or something come through and the limbs would fall and you'd have to pick them up, now that would be a neat feature too. It'd be kind of a headache, but it'd be, you know, realistic. Alright. Not bad, not bad. That would give us plenty of turnaround space. But I'm just going to have them go up and down. Maybe. I should be able to go all the way down and come all the way back and then dump an auger wagon. If I can't do that, I might have to cut the field a little bit different way. So we can just unload on the right side instead of having to back up and everything with it. I'm just trying to be a little bit more realistic on this map and probably the other map that's going to come out pretty soon is Autumn Oaks. It's new to me but not to y'all probably. And uh probably be releasing it pretty soon might release it this week like uh Tuesdays and Thursdays when I don't do the live stream I'll release the episode of it which I need to start getting back in my live streams folks it's just uh been kind of busy whoa 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 whoa, whoa. I gotta change that uh to change that I'm gonna go ahead and change that too over here and move my tractor out of the way. Oh, well, let's beacon so. Who we got? We got J Metal 797 driving around by now. I'm gonna go ahead and unload. Now I'm gonna. Uh, 
37%. I'm going to wait a little bit. Well, no. I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and unload now. We'll unload down there at the 4 a.m. do the uh, follow me for right now and I need to be making some bales but my truck's out of whack if y'all go back next episode or two my truck's in the shop might have to get me another one so um Oh, we can do this. Well, he's right here at this creek. Or, yeah, they might have was right here at this creek. Yeah, I, I can steer the combine with the AI on. But I'm going to see what he's going to do. If he's going to try to go straight again or if he'll go around it. straight. That's what I saw. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, see, he's still trying to go. I have to cut around this thing. Keep on forgetting to uh, put my selector tool on uh, the header when I get going like this. There's only thing about this, it's going to keep going around every time, even as we get further out, I have to straighten it back up. Whoa, whoa, easy now. Alright, okay, we got J Metal 797 still driving it. That's good. Uh, let's go uh, to our fertilizer real quick. And get started on this. Now, folks, I cannot tell where I'm going unless I have a patches like there on the right. That's why I got used GPS. I just hope I get it right. I know that's probably going to be too wide. Let's see. Uh, that's two. Alright, so I need to come right down back to that one, get the leftovers, and then I'll have one more through, and that should be it. Lock back on. And let's see. Alright, he's almost to the end. I'm going to have to do some rounds on this end too. On the on the combine that is, so we uh, have turn around sp space on this end. So five and six is fertilized for the first time. I don't know. We might go ahead and uh, fix that to switch back over. We'll do a, a couple rounds here on the end. Right, we 
hold on to stop our tractor right there. Do our ends. We're almost full again. And I want to actually unload into the auger wagon on this end. Because as I go down, my pipe's going to be towards the inside. And uh, I want it to be on the outside when I unload. That way it's be easier. Because crop destruction is on, so I won't be able to pull out into the crops like I usually do on all the older videos. Now this should be plenty of room to turn around here. And uh, we'll get him going back, but we're going to of course unload first. Red sugar. Oh, just barely, barely made it. Go over in the center a little bit more. In real life, that would make all the difference in the world. All right. And I think I'm going to leave that tractor here for the time being. Oh, I got to change that. There we go. Sorry to say, I changed that, buddy. And we got Jennifer working. Okay, Jade Metal 797 I said to go somewhere. Uh, Jennifer, do your thing. Oh, I shut it off. I'll back up this a little bit here. That way we'll have time to unload. Uh, I do have to catch it when it gets to that. Uh, little resin deal thing, whatever that is. All right, we gotta drive this tractor around, and let's see, we're about 24 minutes in, so hopefully we can get a uh, auger wagon full so we can come up here and dump. We might go a little longer on this episode, depending on what all we can do. Now, as far as the uh, tilling of the ground, I actually thought about not tilling it up, just planting over it. That would save us a lot of money. And the straw, I don't know, in, in real life, they would probably just let it lay out all year until it's time to plant again. So that's what I'm kind of debating on is how realistic we're going to try to get it. I want to set this guy. Whoa. Let's go check on the combine. That's perfect timing. And he's going to drive across. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. I'm gonna try to make this a little bit more round so they can follow hopefully a little easier. I don't believe I didn't miss no beans. Alright, he's almost 
I forgot to raise my header that time. Sorry, guys. All right, who's going to be... Oh, we got Jason driving this time. Okay, awesome. He's going... Yeah, he's going... I'm going to have to drive the tractor down here. It's not going to make a full... A full round, so... Um, let's get the GPS set up on this and real quick. Uh, make sure it's still on auto. I'm gonna rotate this and bring this over to about right there, and then we're off about right there. That should work. Like it on, go ahead and start getting lined up. Now, I do have some anhydrous bars, I got these here. Um, I think that is one we would use now, and this one would be the one we use when we have a crop in the ground. Not for sure, but we got the BB toolbar, we got the case toolbar, DMI toolbars, and then we got the double tank, the single, and the triple. And folks, I think that would look awesome doing this uh is it telling the meters it don't tell how wide they are okay but anyway i would like to do that but uh we don't have the money to get them right now let's see yeah they're pretty high um 75 for the applicator and Get the, the single for twelve thousand, and then we'll have to fill it up and all that. So we'll probably just stick with this kind of fertilization for now. If I shut that off. We'll walk down here. Can we get in this and drive back to that far end down there? That will be time to unload. Uh, Jason so yeah let's, let's do it to it all right I'm just gonna cut across this side right over here oh Jason's on his way back what does he got? He's seventy percent. Okay. So I probably shouldn't have even went around that. Well, yeah, this is a day in the life of a <laughs> of a very poor farmer. Uh, you basically, I guess it's basically how farm works is. You have to sit there and wait on the combine to get full. And then when you get full, it's got to go a pretty good ways. We got, I can't see it. Let's see. Here that way. got to go way over there to the mob truck. Which that'll keep you out of the field and keep the tires better and stuff. Uh, let's see if. He's actually going to take out. All right, let's go ahead and go around and restart. That way, we can do that side and do this side, but I'd rather keep them all the same. Oh, no, 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 no. That probably already turned. Yeah, it already turned. There we go. All right. 
Okay, now we got Sarah driving. I should have stayed on that side of the pond. Alright, get y'all ground. started to. I was hoping to get the auger out so I can see where which uh, row I need to be on. Oops. Let's get over this a little. And I'll get my speed right. There we go. Let's stay on that mark right there. Yeah, I need to scoot over a little bit, looks like. It's not this hard in real life, folks. You can actually see the auger in the back glass in real life. Alright, we're going to unload Sarah again at the very front end right there. And we're going to go unload this truck uh, this auger wagon and then uh, probably call the episode uh, I might do some of this off screen so it won't be so bad on y'all uh, I know uh, it, it's probably gonna be a couple episodes of harvesting hope so oh oh, oh 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 I forgot I forgot I forgot I gotta get up here Come on, you gonna unload. I know you ain't got very much, but you gonna need it. Oh, it's only seven hundred. I thought it's gonna be more than that. My bad. Oh right there. I drive for you go ahead and unload. That way I know you can handle a pretty good ways. There we go. And we're full enough, we're going to go ahead and go take this to the truck and uh, call the episode after that. First person is pretty good this way, but I just don't like it. Not at all. Uh, let's get this covered here. Pretty deep. Uh, ravine right there, or whatever you want to call it. Around here is this a ditch to us? Something to drain the water off the fields. Yeah, we got a lot of beans to harvest, but I don't think we can get them done in time. I still got a couple of hours to harvest tonight before I have to uh, skip night or whatever. Could do some. Uh, could do a night harvest. You want to do a night harvest? Let's see, get our auger out. There we go. All right. Go on up here. This should fill the truck up. I think I'm not for sure. Uh, that should do it. Oh yeah, there we go. Fill no blue up. It's a nice vibe truck. I just hate the sound of it. It's loud. Let's see how much is in it real quick. Big Mr. Blue farms on the side of it. We're almost full. Oh, what is that? Eighty-nine percent look like. Well, that's gonna be real close for the next one. 
But anyway, folks, we're going to... Yeah. We're just going to let him do that for a couple of rounds. Then get to the other side. Or should I say Jennifer? All right, folks. Uh, we're going to call it an episode here. I just want to thank each and every one of y'all for watching my videos and comment and support and stuff. And uh, it's all the good love. And if you got a lot of extra love and y'all feeling generous and want to donate, don't forget, I got a PayPal account down below in the description. It is at the very bottom of the description. Uh, right, right above my address. If y'all want to send some letters or or fan mail or anything like that, y'all want to send them, you're more welcome to. Um, I do check out P.O. Box like two or three times a week, depending on the volume of the mail. And yeah, so uh, don't forget. PayPal account down below in the description along with my address. Folks, love each and every one of y'all. So y'all have a great day, a blessed day, and I will see y'all later.